Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. So today I'm filming what I've got for my children's stockings. I've got an almost seven year old and a three year old and I know like these videos were quite helpful when they were younger. Still are, I still enjoy watching like other people's ones. So yeah, I'll just run through what I've got, then I can get everything wrapped. Um, we're early wrappers in this house for things like that because well, because we've got a little seven-year-old who tries to sniff out presents. So yeah, I want to get them wrapped on Saturday evening and stored away so that I know that's done. I'll show you what I've got. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. So I think the easiest way of doing this video is a bit like I do with the shopping haul, where I'll just kind of talk behind the camera. Um, I was going to sit down and show everything one by one, but I think with the amount here, it's going to take a while. So this is my son's side. That's my daughter's side. And what we actually do in our house is we do stocking presents from Santa and then like a main present for us. So I'm trying to sort of work out roughly what we spend on a stocking. I'm thinking up to 25, 30 pounds, like lots of little bits. And then we're going to get them like a main present as well once we've decided. So anyway, this is my son's side and every single thing that's on this table I've bought either from like places like B&M, Home Bargains, Poundland, or I've got them off of places like Amazon but only when they've come down on offer. There's a couple of clothes bits as well, but again, they've all been on offer. So although it looks more than like 25, 30 pounds, it isn't because I basically just start bargain hunting from January onwards. So that's why there are a few bits. So just going to the back first, there are obviously two pajamas and two socks. I was going to give these as part of their Christmas stockings, but I've decided I'm going to give these from the ALF one day so that they can enjoy them. I'll probably do that on like the 2nd or 3rd of December so that they've got them to enjoy. Um, so yeah, these socks, I think I showed them in a Home Bargains video. I want to say they were only about 99p. And then the pajamas were the things I did pay full price for, £9 and £8 just because I really liked the fact that I could match them still while they're smaller. And yeah, I got those nice and early, so they weren't on offer, um, but everything else was. So yeah, they're not really stocking presents, but I thought I'd show you while they're out. So starting with my son, I've got this Orchard Toys Magic Maths game. It says age five to seven, so he is at the older end of that. But obviously with lockdown, they've missed like a year of school, so they're definitely not at the stage they would have been. Um, that came down on an Amazon deal of the day. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much, but it wasn't more than about five pounds. Um, so I've got that. And then obviously having a younger child as well, she can then use that as well when she's a bit older. This Stomp Rocket, I picked this up in Aldi. I think I might've shown that in a haul. The, it was really reduced down because the box was crushed in. Um, but yeah, it was like a fiver or something. I can't remember exactly, but um, yeah. It was a crushed box, so it was reduced down even further, and he won't even notice because he just won't. I was quite pleased with that one. Make your own bouncy balls. I think I got this in one of the budget stores a long, long time ago. And then a Rubik's Cube because I think he's at the age where he might enjoy those. And then I liked the look of this game, Don't Buzz the Wire. Like, I guess we've all played it where you've got to guide it around without buzzing it and I thought that was a really good one for like hand and eye coordination so I picked that up that was only five pounds in Smith's um I think it's gone up again a little bit but for a fiver I was so so pleased with that one then I got him a little dart gun just like a nerf gun I guess type thing but not a nerf this catapult got that can't even remember where that one was from I think it might have been Primark but yeah a little splash catapult for the summer um, flashcards times tables because I like to get things that they're actually going to be able to get some use out of as well um, and again these were really cheap in one of the shops this horrid Henry crazy ketchup was only a pound in Poundland um, and it's just like a simple chapter book for him with a few pictures um, so yeah got that one some stickers from Hobbycraft and then I got a scratch art dinosaur these were all on the Hobbycraft sale a few months back some stickers and then this dotty art which the kids really enjoy i've got one each for them but this is the dinosaur one so yeah you just stick the corresponding colored dots to make dotty pictures and i think they'll enjoy those over here one of these butterfly wings 
um, and it actually includes the solution, which is great. So I've got one of those. These nerds came from one of my shopping hauls. I can't remember which one, but they were any pennies. Um, and then a candy necklace, a bath bomb, because my kids absolutely love bath bombs. Christmas surprise bath bomb with a squishy Christmas toy inside. So they will really enjoy that one. Some popping candy. These garden gloves, I think I got those at Cherries, um, but they were only like a pound or two. They really enjoy helping out in the garden now, and I thought they were so, so cute, little kids' ones. And then over here, a snap band, and then I've got some coins and some Christmas Santas. This was from last year. It was filled with some sweets, but I thought it was really cute, and I may well fill it with these because I thought it was too nice to get rid of. And then the blue Smarties, two packets of Fun Snaps, and then these were in the sale, like half price sale, a next dinosaur top and some Pokemon pyjamas. So that is everything for my son. And then over to my daughter's side, we've got the Leapfrog Leaping Letters. And I actually got that from a friend secondhand, but it had barely been used. I think I paid about two or three pounds for it, but it's like brand new. So yeah, I'm not opposed to getting secondhand things if they're in good condition, especially while... Like, she's only three. She's, you know, none the wiser, really. It's just silly to go out and spend about £20 on something when a friend is selling it for a couple of quid. And then Dotty Dinosaurs. I thought she'd really like that one. I, we really like these Orchard toy games. And, yeah, that was on offer on Amazon one time, a few pounds. I was really pleased with that one. I could remember buying that. Same with this on Amazon. Came on, like, a daily deal. It's an Aquabead set. I think she's actually a little bit young for this, but I think if they sit and play it together, they will probably enjoy it. I just liked the fact that it was in this nice little set with all the colours, and yeah, we can help her with that one. This came up on Amazon as well, we're like a literacy whiz game, and yeah, she's just kind of beginning to learn her letters and words and things, so yeah, I thought that would be good. Put the card there and then help her spell out the word to match the picture. This was from Poundland. She just is a real little girly girl. Loves these sorts of things. So it's got a little comb. She can brush its hair. And then she's got the farmyard dotty art, which is what I was showing you. So you can make up all of those pictures. And then she has got a mermaid scratch art, some foil stickers and the little sticker book. And then a snap band. Down here, Little Raindrop, it was only 99p in Audi. Just a really cute little book. And this bubble wing set as well. Bubble solution in there. I think they really like that. And then she's got a bath bomb with a Christmas toy inside. Um, she's got a few little bits from Frugi because they were on a really, really good sale. Yeah, picked these up in the January sale. So they were a really good deal. Blue Smarties, same little gloves as well. Popping candy. And then nerds, bracelet, showing you all their snaps, jockeys. And then for her, I have got, just from Home Bargains, a rainbow sponge and a little rainbow bath bomb. And that's everything. And then just to show you, they're all stored away, the presents in here. So there's no peeking. I found these actually when we were on holiday in the summer, just zippable bags. And you can actually put a padlock on the zip if you really want to. Um, but yeah, they are all zipped up and they are going to be stored at a family member's house. So there is absolutely no chance of ruining any surprise. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that was helpful to you. Obviously, everyone has differing opinions on how to do Christmas. Um, some people just do teeny tiny stockings. Some people go mad. Some people say it's from Santa. Some people don't. It's really tricky. So we tend to just put this limit of around 20 to 30 pounds for stockings. And then we get them like a present from us. Normally something along the lines of a scooter type present, something that's going to be useful, but isn't something that we just go out and splash the cash on generally. I feel like they've both got like typical little stocking bits, little sweeties, some games, a couple of things also that they're going to learn from. And that is kind of what we do and, and some clothes as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I hope you are all doing okay and I will see you very soon. Bye.